chemical reactions can occur only when reacting particles collide with each other and with sufficient energy. The minimum amount of energy that particles must have to react is called the activation energy. Reaction profiles can be used to show the relative energies of reactants and products. This is the reaction profile for an exothermic reaction. Energy has been released as the products have a lower total energy than the reactants. Here you can see the activation energy required and the amount of energy released. This is the reaction profile for an endothermic reaction. By taking energy in, the products have more energy than the reactants. The activation energy is shown here and so is the amount of energy that's taken in.